Well, hello friends. Welcome to another studio vlog. Thank you for coming. My name is Ms. Bev and I am a self-taught digital illustrator and professional doodler. So, uh, if you're wondering where my big meal planner made easy is, um, I have a confession to make. It is not ready. Um, so a week ago, I was thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to have a, a good solid week to uh, work on it and to finish it up because I really, 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 really wanted it done and complete by and available uh, by this past, by this weekend, the 4th of July weekend for those of you in here in the U.S. Um, but it just didn't happen. Um, I had company um, all week just about. Um, and if I didn't have company all day, I was getting ready for company to come. So it was my grandkids. They spent the night. Um, they spent another day with me. So uh, three days with the grandkids and one night. And then my, my daughter came. And I was so thrilled about that. So she came for the weekend and it left just a couple hours ago. But um, it's been crazy busy with company. And you know what? Um, I needed it. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. Uh, we had fun and uh, made lots of good memories and um, um, did stuff together and just enjoyed being with each other's company and um, catching up and visiting. So um, when I have company, I just can't uh, walk away and go into the studio and work. First and foremost, because it's hard for me to concentrate. I, I just can't. I can't concentrate because my mind is on my work as well as what's going on in the rest of the house. And I just, I just can't do it. I don't know. I don't know if you're like the same way. But, um, so I did not do much in the studio as far as my work, as far as, uh, finishing up the planner. Uh, my granddaughter, on the other hand, um, who is a, a creative genius. She loves, constantly loves to um, create. And uh, as soon as she saw my cinch, um, sh the first day when she was, she was here, she made one for her. And we made one for my grandson. And then uh, the uh, other day when they came back and spent the night, that day we spent making three uh, notebooks. And they were for her friends that she was going to see um, on Saturday for a party that were, they were going to have together. Friday or Saturday. But, um, yeah, she wanted to make them a notebook. And so we were busy doing that. And um, I was, so I was in the studio, but um, I was in the studio with my granddaughter creating stuff. So, um, so nowhere near finishing up the planner my meal planner and um, I was hoping like I said if I think I said it before that I was wanting to have it done by this weekend for the 4th of July weekend which uh, people are doing lots of planning and having company over for cookouts and stuff but you know uh, I got to thinking well uh, we still have at least almost three months left of the summer there's going to be still tons of cookouts and big meal, uh, big meals, events coming up at your house. Um, so it's not too late to put it out. So, but I am going to use this speech, this intro, as an incentive for me to have it done uh, by the time you finish watching this vlog. At the moment, it's not done. I haven't finished it, um, but. Um, by the time you finish watching the studio vlog, which I'm going to be taping all week as I finish it, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, lots of prayers. Um, I don't have anything planned. The kids are out of town, so they're not coming to visit. Um, my daughter's working, so she can't come and visit. Um, my son and his family are working, so they can't come and visit. So, at this moment, I don't have any plans of having anybody over. So... I'm going to focus really hard. I'm going to uh, stick to my guns and try to finish this uh, meal planner. I really don't have a lot to go uh, to finish it. Um, 
I have this last rough draft that I printed out. Um, and when I print it out, because it's going to be uh, two pages on each side, or it's going to be back-to-back -back pages, um, I like to glue them together because they don't print out that way in my printer. But um, I'm going to go through this last rough draft. Hopefully this is the last rough draft and make any changes that need to be changed, anything um, I need to uh, look at. What I really need to look at and what really causes me concern and great stress and anxiety is uh, just the wording and um, making sure that I put everything in that I feel I would need um, and would be helpful for me. It, I, I, what I dread is uh, looking at after it's all been um, quote unquote published and I see a mistake and I see a something I, something I really should have added in there so um, but hopefully you know I've I've put everything in it that needs to go in it and um, um, I don't need to make too many changes I just need to make a few more and hopefully that'll be done and hopefully I will be printing uh, my printer is getting low on ink and fortunately I do have uh, a backup supply of ink so um, I'm going to be needing to change the cartridges for it as soon as I start making uh, these prints and um, um, I'm good on laminating sheets and I think I've got everything I need to finish up. So, um, have I got anything else going on? Um, I can't think of anything except today is July 3rd and uh, tomorrow is July 4th. So, for those of you in the good old U.S. of A, um, happy 4th of July, friends. Um, have a safe and happy holiday and um, don't forget to thank God and our Creator for this wonderful country that we live in despite all our differences. Um, we are still overly and abundantly blessed here and so thankful for uh, this country. And uh, so with that said, friends, have a safe and happy holiday and uh, we will see you next time. Take care and God bless. So I'm back working on my shopping list um, pads and um, um, I was going to leave, leave it pretty lame, plain um, yesterday but then I woke up this morning and I looked at it and I thought you know it's a little too plain so um, I've gone on and decided to add a little image on the bottom left corner but it's the hamburger I drew I think it was the very first image I drew um, knowing I was going to be making on this planner so let me see if I can enlarge it as well but yeah there it oh wow <laughs> so that's a very up close view of the shopping list oh, I keep on going the wrong way I've got two uh, on one sheet and then um, at the top it's going to be the same uh, a list. I think I'm going to put an ant there though. Just one ant. So this is the shopping list. See if you can see the whole thing. And then um, same border, checkerboard border although you can't, really can't see it much and then uh, the hamburger at the bottom with some more ants at the bottom and I widened the bottom margin uh, border part so that you could see more of the checkerboard and I really like the way that that looks so um, okay
Now I think I'm happy. Just let me add the ant. I'm going to add an ant. A little pesky ant. So I've done all the editing. I've looked over this planner front to back and I am ready to start printing. So here's the first print, and I'm very, very happy with it. Look at how well it printed out. I think it's this paper too. It's Staples Premium paper for laser jet and ink jet. I printed it on my Canon Pro 200 on um, fine color. And the only problem, I did find a problem. I'm not sure why I didn't notice it before, but I'm glad I did now. But under the first page of menu item breakdown, um, I have an image here, but not here. So let's go ahead and add an image. And I think I'm going to add um, the mixer that I um, drew. Now we have our second image. While I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you a story about uh, having to make 100 binders plus um, back in the day when I worked in, in the football department at Liberty. There was one coach who um, wanted the team, which consisted of um, a little over a hundred boys. Um, he wanted them to have a um, a binder. We started working on it just before classes were dismissed for the summer. But uh, this binder was for training camp, which always started at the end of July. So we needed to have it ready to go um, by that time. So we had. Uh, May, June, and uh, July to uh, get it all ready. So um, before it went to print, there were lots and lots and lots of changes and additions and um, formatting. We need, also needed a cover page. I've got one, I saved one, and um, I just saw it the other day and I can't find it, but I will uh, do my very best to find it. But. Let's put a stop on that story. And what I'm doing now is um, I'm putting the pages back to back that go back to back inside a laminating pouch. So the front cover and the first page go together. Here's page two and three, making sure that they're evenly uh, put together. It's easy to put them together when they um, go into this laminating pouch because they, they um, 
uh, both meet at the edge of the sealed edge and it's easy to to straighten them up so that makes it nice so page four and five so anyway back to the story so I worked on most of the summer on this binder and um, it was very stressful um, because you know it it has to be well written as in no typos um, so on and so forth I had to make a I think around 106, 107, whatever the NCAA allowed uh, to be on the team. There, there was a restriction or, yeah, a restriction to how many um, student athletes, that's what we call them. We didn't call them football players, they were student athletes. How many student athletes had to be on the team? And so um, um, I had to make, uh, I think it was around 107. Everyone got one. Um, so it was a very time consuming to say the least. I was thankful that most of the coaches were out on vacation or recruiting because um, it gave me the chance to work on it. So, um, okay. Put, stop the story there. I'm going to get ready to put these through the laminator. But just to tell you that I have worked on a hundred binders plus um, at one time and I also had to make a coach's version which was similar to the student athlete's version but there were some changes to the coach's version so that was another project in itself. So um, I have experience making binders although I didn't bind them myself with a cinch. Uh, we sent them off to our printer um, there at the university and they printed it uh, for me. They punched the holes for me and then I had to take them all back to the office and put them in the binder. So if I can find one, I will definitely show it to you. So let me go laminate. So I'm going to do this a hundred times more and I'm not going to bore you with the hundred times. So um, this is going to keep me busy for the next hour. This time I remembered to put the back um, page sorry, on top. There we go. Okay. Now press these in, make sure they're all pressed in. When you flip it around, the seam won't show. See? You can see it. 
Yeah, that's good. Now I need to clip off the edge. I don't know. That was easy. Now, put that in, curl it in so it doesn't get caught on anybody. One down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 